So to turn on McGraw-Hill Connect Deep Integration, you're going to go to the Settings tab and then Navigation. You're going to scroll down to the bottom. You'll grab McGraw-Hill Connect Deep Integration and drag it up into your course menu and save. Once this setting is saved, you'll see the McGraw-Hill Connect Deep Integration link on your menu. Click that. You'll authorize it to use your Canvas environment. It will ask you if you want to pair with a Connect section. You can create a new one if, you're, if you don't have one, or you can use an existing one. And it will list all the ones that are in McGraw-Hill Connect. If you find that you get this far and you need another section of it, you can actually add a new section. So I'm going to call this one 002. And save it. And then from here, I can either go to my section homepage in Connect, or I can go back to my Canvas environment. For right now, I'm going to go back to my Canvas environment. And if I click on my McGraw-Hill Connect Deep Integration again, you'll see that my options change. I can now do a manual sync, I can reset the pairing, I can unlink it, or I can go to my Connect section. So I'm going to click Go to my Connect section. I'm going to click Add Assignment. And then for this particular example, I'm going to add a Learn Smart a case study from the book. So here's one of the case studies, Mystic Monk Coffee. I'm going to assign that. Now these particular assignments are kind of buggy, so it'll tell you that they're worth 100 points, but it won't allow you to assign them and it won't allow you to save an exit, but they still will show up as an assignment. So I'm going to back out of that and I'm going to choose another case study, so we'll go with Chipotle. And again, I'll back out of that. And then I'm also going to choose Walmart in Africa. And then I'll back out of that. From this page, if I go back to my courses and click on Section 2, I'll see those three case studies here, but they're not yet assigned to students because of that bug. So to assign them to my students, I have to click on the name of the link. And then I have to click Assign. And I'm going to choose the date that I want that to be assigned for. And the time that they'll have to access it. So it's a window of opportunity. So we're going to give them a week to read the case study. And assign it to them. Once I assign it to them, if I go back to my assignments, I'll now see that it's assigned and I can assign the next one. Okay, so from this window I can't assign it. So let me go back one more time and I'm going to return to my library. Okay, we're just going to go back to courses and go through it this way. So from this menu right here, I guess it's called your section overview. This is where you can change that assignment. So again, I'm going to do the same thing for Chipotle. I'm going to click assign and I'm going to give it a date range. So we'll do this one for the following week. All right, so I have the two assignments now. So now I'm going to go back to my Canvas course. And if I click on Assignments, I should see those two case studies in there automatically. I didn't have to synchronize or anything. It did the, that all through the pairing. And you'll see that it has the date ranges here. Um, but it still has a score. 
And that's one thing that you can't change about the assignment from McGraw-Hill, at least not that I've found. So if you want it to be worth zero points, you can edit it here. And even if it repairs, it will not override that setting. So I'm going to make that worth zero points. Now the disadvantage is that that's uh, because it's an assignment, it shows up in your grade book. So there's a column. So if I come over here to grades, you'll see that there's two case studies in here. Not a problem. You can actually mute the assignment so that your students don't see a grade for it and don't get notifications for it. Um, and then you can just simply drag the column over until it's kind of overlapping so that it's hidden out of the way so it's not in your way for grading purposes. So that's how you use the McGraw-Hill integration piece for the deep integration.